What's up guys, it's Lucas and we are back with our spring pickups. We made it, started last year with the summer pickups and I actually really like this seasonal favorite so I will keep it going. I am filming on my phone right now so I'm sorry. Uh, I don't have a lens for my camera so we will fix that soon. Also I have not been uploading consistently how I wanted to, um, that's my fault. Kind of been going through some rough times, I uh, got some personal stuff going on. But we are back and uh, the summer should be full of videos I hope. I I'm gonna try really hard. I really care about this channel and I do not want to let you guys down so hold me to it. There should be a lot of videos this summer. Music suggestions will be at the end of the video again. And uh, yeah, pickups time. Let's go. Okay, guys, uh, starting off with the first pickup, we just have one t shirt. It's just a gray Carhartt tee that I cropped at the bottom, just threw a really rough stitch in there. Just a really simple uh, thick tee for summer. So uh, that's the only t shirt we got. The rest are gonna be like long sleeves, jackets, a pair of boots. Now this sweatshirt is super sweet, got this for $10, it's probably 70s or 80s, uh, the tag is completely worn out, you can't read it at all, and it just has this really great color on it that I really like. I actually bought this sweatshirt at Lo-Fi at a pop-up, and I will put up the name of the seller, really nice guy, uh, got a really good deal on this uh, vintage sweatshirt, uh, definitely just a cool cop for uh, spring and summer. Another vintage item, we have this crossing long sleeve flannel shirt not like a flannel button down but just like a few buttons I thought this was just a really nice brown color and it kind of has like a little bit of a 70s type look to it I think it would look cool just like tucked into some flares or something but yeah nothing crazy found this in a goodwill moving on uh here's the big boy of the video it's the cropped reversible Sanjeev sweatshirt that he released this spring and this is crazy nice. He dropped a different version that was red and I got the second version, which is this gray one. I think there was 150 of these made. It's honestly such a beautiful wash and beautiful color. And of course it is reversible. So you can put that really cool graphic on the outside and it is such a nice piece, very versatile. It definitely hurt my pockets a little bit, but I think it's worth it. Sanj is a, a great creator I've been looking up to. I've been watching his videos for like years. So it's pretty cool to have something he made be in my wardrobe, amazing sweater. Definitely, definitely a good cop. One more thrifted sweater to round out the bunch. It's just this cream color. Honestly, not much to say about it. The brand is Alpine Design and it is a size large. Just a nice little tan sweater I found. Definitely the color palette I've been loving the past couple years. And the last sweater we'll be talking about is this Array New York Manhattan Art Studio cropped sweater in this crazy forest green color with the contrast stitching. I think Ray did a great job on this sweater. I honestly really love it. It's got the elongated sleeves, cropped body fit, just like the Sanjeev sweatshirt. It's, uh, it's super comfortable. Forest green is like my favorite color, so I had to get this. The tan one also looks really nice. I wish I had that one. And I believe I got a size small in this, but it's, as you can see, very oversized. And uh, if you're watching me, you should be watching Ray Mia. His YouTube channel is really good. The work we're king and all. Most of you have probably seen his brand, but if you haven't, go take a look. Really good stuff on there. So for flannels and jackets, we have this Woolrich orange one right here. It is a pretty large size and I thrifted it a few months ago. I do really like the colors on there and I usually really like the Woolrich flannels that I find. Um, this is just a really simple one. This has got to be like my 20th vintage flannel, but uh, yeah, can't help it. Really love flannels. This is a Croft and Barrow, really light flannel shirt. I'm not gonna talk about it too much. You can see the color, thrifted it. And we are moving on to this big boy right here. This is a vintage varsity sports jacket that I got from my dad. Uh, he used to play football in Germany and uh, he played for the team called the Buffaloes. You can see his name is on the side there and the years that they were playing and everything. This is just a really cool piece for me and I actually have two of them, but this one is my mom's and this one is my dad's. You can see they have <laughs> matching jackets for his football days. But yeah, my parents met in Germany. 
Uh, my dad's American, but my mom is was from there. You know how the story goes. I'm just glad I got these really cool 80s jackets. They are late 80s. I really like the patches. I really like the button in the front and the back is very beautiful. So with these first pair of pants, I believe they are like vintage Boy Scout pants. They are ripping up at the hem up here, so I do need to fix that soon. But yeah, these are really cool. Super lightweight and they have a couple pockets on them. The buttons on the side do say Boy Scouts of America. And these just feel like a perfect uh, spring and summer pant, honestly. Definitely recommending this for anyone that needs a new pair of pants for the summer. I would like eBay search some Boy Scout pants or something or just even just vintage military pants, but definitely these ones are a great cop. Uh, really glad I got these. Going to be wearing them a lot. Next up is just a really washed out gray pair of Dockers. They have that kind of vintage fade to them and they're a little bit thicker. They have a few tiny paint splatters on the back of the legs. Definitely treating these like a work pant type of thing, but these are really cool. Um, I don't think they're that old. I also got these in a Goodwill the same day that I found the Boy Scout pants. So yeah, really good deals on just these two pants here. Another pair of very faded washed out jeans that I found in a Goodwill. It's very lightweight, really easy to wear for summer. Don't have to go into these too deep. They are a white tag 514 and uh, they are not very old. And next up, we have this green pair of Mark Anthony flared pants that I also found in a Goodwill. Really nice, like mint green color that I thought would also be really cool for spring and for summer. Again, very lightweight, and they have like this flare at the bottom. So I really do like this pair. They also kind of give me a 70s vibe, just like the shirt that I got. And sorry, they're a little wrinkled right now. I need to um, iron them or something. And the last pair of pants are just these vintage denim. Uh, not even sure, I think the brand is Magellan or something or is it Wrangler maybe? Just a really nice thick pair of denim that I can beat up and do anything. Also thrifted these and got them for a pretty good deal. So I'm happy with that. And wait, we only have one accessory for this video but it's just this Rick Owens tote bag. Sorry, I have like some stuff in here right now, but I've been using this a lot. This became like my backpack basically, but it's just the Rick Owens tote. Got this from my friend Sal, so shout out Sal. Uh, definitely not getting rid of this, love this bag. And yeah, I'll show you the boots now, and that'll be our final pickup. Yo, what's up guys, I lied. I actually have this pretty sick Bailey vintage hat uh, that I've been wearing all summer. And uh, it's pretty sick. I'm gonna be showing more stuff from Bailey Vintage soon, but I just wanted y'all to see this hat. All right, this is a pair of vintage Justin cowboy boots. They are a size 10B, I believe. And I've been trying to wear these a lot. Just got these very recently. I've gotten to wear them a couple times already, and I'm pretty excited about them. So yeah, definitely really cool pickup. The brown color is really nice as well, and the toe is cool. But I saw these on eBay and I really liked them, really like the color. The heel is also big, it adds like an extra inch. When I wear these boots, I'm like six foot. Uh, really glad I have these and uh, we'll be wearing them out a lot. So that is all the pickups and I just wanna say thank you guys for watching and uh, just supporting the channel. If you watched an ad on this video, I'm sorry, but also thank you. I'll be trying to make videos all summer. I've got different things going on in my whole life and like job and school and all that is changing. So I will be doing my best to just make a lot of videos for you guys. I really care about this channel and I want you guys to have something. And before you go, we got music suggestions. So here you go. Thank you guys so much for watching this spring pickups. Um, I know it's kind of late because we're already getting into summer and everything. If I haven't shown any comments or anything from the last video, here's some comments. And in the comments, just again, let me know what kind of videos y'all are looking for. I already have a ton of ideas for some videos, but I'm down to hear what you guys might be thinking about or might want. The next video might be an unboxing or a Q&A. Can't believe you guys have stuck around with me even through not uploading. 
and uh, just want to say thanks guys let me know if you like the youtube shorts as well i tried uploading one might just delete it i don't know uh we'll see thanks guys see you next time